Hello and very welcome to Vienna Calling. My name is Sasha and today I'm going to show you what you could and really should do on your first day in Vienna. So we are starting right here at Heldenplatz and right behind me you can see the Hofburg, which is the Imperial Palace. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this statue of Erzherzog Karl, obviously, as you can see. And the special thing about it is that it was the first statue where the artist managed to balance the statue so it can only stand with two legs on the ground. So usually the horse tail was touching the ground to have a three point stand. But on this one he managed to balance it with the flag and the horse tail and the artist got really popular. A few years later he made this second statue over here and it didn't work out that well because on this one he needed the horse tail to touch the ground again to have this three point stand. So the people and the public were very disappointed and the pressure on him got so great that he eventually turned mad and spent the rest of his life in an asylum. So sometimes history is evil, I guess. And the next thing I'm going to show you is right in that direction. This is Heldentor, which is loosely translated to Hero Skate. And if you are a true hero, then make sure to like and subscribe our videos. It really helps us out. And if you want to know something in particular, let us know in the comments down below and we will make an episode for you. So when you're wandering around in Vienna, you should really look out for those uh, tap water boxes where you can drink for free. And right when you went through Heldentor, we are already here on our next place. This park over here is called Maria Theresienplatz and it's surrounded by those two buildings and those are the Art History and the Natural History Museum. So this is really a nice park. Sometimes you have some musicians around here, so if you want a free concert, you can try it here. And you should really take a look into one of the museums. It's for free if you're under 18. And if you don't want to pay for a ticket, you should at least go in and see the entrance hall. Trust me, it's really beautiful. And when you're done wandering around here, this is the direction that we go on. So right now we are here at the Ringstraße. And the Ringstraße is one of the most crowded places because it's very important for the traffic connection. And it's also the sightseeing maker. Vienna used to have a city wall and then they decided to turn it down and then they built Ringstraße on it. So since there are so many important buildings around here, you should really pay it a visit. And we continue in this direction. This construction site is our parliament. Okay, of course I'm just kidding. Usually it should look something like this. So the good thing is you can still take a lovely picture here. And we keep continuing in this direction. On the other side of the parliament you have the Volksgarten, which is a really nice part. You follow this way right next to the parliament is the city hall Rathaus and there's a really nice park in front of it. So let's check that out. You should also be aware that you are not allowed to step on the grass. So keep that in mind. So if you manage to walk yourself through this jungle, you end up here at Rathaus, the city hall. Unfortunately, it's right now a construction site as well. But we guys make sure that Vienna is in the future even more beautiful. Right to the opposite of Rathaus is Burgtheater, which is a very famous theater. And it's pretty cool because there is a secret underground connection to the Imperial Palace. And the Emperor Kaiser Franz Josef used to sneak into the theater without being seen. Isn't that awesome? And from Burgtheater we continue our first day in Vienna in this direction again. And the next step to your left side is the University of Vienna. This is the second oldest university in the German-speaking region and it's huge. And this building of the University of Vienna is our top tip of the week. You can go in there for free, so it costs you nothing. And we got a game for you that you should try. So you think Hogwarts is complicated, you haven't been to the University of Vienna. So we prepared this little game for you. You got all information in the description down below. Just make sure that when you're in front of the main entrance, just go in there, walk straight through. There's a garden inside. And then you go to Student Point, Großer Lehrsaal, and Germanistik Seminarraum 2. 
So my record is about 13 minutes, okay? Try to beat me. So after you failed miserably by trying to beat my time, we continue, you can guess, in this direction. Our next place is Motivkirche, which is a church, obviously. And right in front of the church is a nice park, which we show you as well. So this is a close-up from the Motivkirche, the church, and we are right here in Sigmund Freud Park. So that's maybe a familiar name for you. This park is especially nice because it's right next to the university. So usually there are a lot of students, so they're young people, and you can't get easily in touch because all of them speak English perfectly. So as you can see, I'm still standing in front of the church, and we're going in in this direction now, back into the city center. So like the most locals, I really like the small streets in the city center. They are really old, they look awesome. So this beautiful square is called Freien. And from here, we're going into the center of the city center. And finally, after about one hour, we are back here. If we walk through this door, we will get back to Heldenplatz where we started. From here, you can try to explore the city on your own. Just take every corner it will be nice trust me from here you can explore the city on your own it's really nice everywhere it's impossible to find a place that's not nice and as a final tip we got the most important thing that you have to see in Vienna so from here it's only about three minute walk to the next place I'm going to show you now we are going in this direction going all the way to that corner and then we are here And finally, we are here, Stephansdom, St. Stephen's Cathedral. It's the landmark of Vienna, and it should be the highlight on your tour through Vienna and the city center. So if you want to know more about the church and its history, make sure to write it down in the comments below so we can make an episode for you. And we see you next week at Vienna Calling. My name is Sasha. it's set behind the camera. Bye. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to give you the word of the week. And this week's word is gemütlich. Now in German it's usually gemütlich, which means comfortable. But in Vienna we say gemütlich. And if you wander around the city, everything you do should be gemütlich, okay? So make sure to make yourself gemütlich. And we we'll see you next week. So like the most mocha... <laughs> 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 <laughs>